Hi, this is Patrick from SDH. Today, we're gonna to do something special. We are going to look underneath the heat spreader of an Intel Optane DC persistent memory DIMM and find out what's underneath. And the Intel Optane DC persistent memory is going to be one of the hottest stories in 2019. The Intel Optane DC persistent memory, despite having a extremely long product name, is gonna be a game changer for a lot of industries. And that's because it essentially brings very low latency storage, so persistent storage, to the DRAM channels. So this is memory that is faster than your current NVMe drives. It has lower latency, but it's also persistent and it has larger capacity than your current RAM modules. So this is gonna be a big technology in 2019 and we somehow managed to get modules. Um, you're gonna see, here's what a Intel Optane DC persistent memory module looks like with two DDR4 modules from Crucial Micron. These are just dead uh, DRAM modules that we have in the lab. And so what you do to open the Intel Optane DC persistent memory DIMM, you can see we may have a couple of these, not just one, um, is you just take off the clips first and they just snap right off so it's pretty easy. The heat spreader actually at this point is on a lot tighter than you would think. Um, some of the kind of more consumer level heat spreaders are affixed to their uh, using clips, but they're also affixed to the RAM modules in a lot looser manner. They just kind of fall right off uh, using thermal pads, if that, to interface between the chips and the actual heat spreader itself. And so what you have to do is you kind of have to give it a little wiggle. The heat spreader on the Optane Persistent Memory DIMMs uh, is a two piece system. So you just kind of have to break the thermal paste loose there's actually a lot of chips underneath and we've kind of peered down the barrel of one of these, but we've never actually been able to take, take it apart and see what's underneath. So this is a big moment. And you're gonna see that I'm struggling a bit with this. There we go. Okay, so now that this is open, you can clearly see the first side, which has five Intel Optane DC persistent uh, memory chips. But then there's also that little chip in the middle. And then when we kind of, flip it over, we're gonna see a total of six Optane packages, and then we're gonna see a controller in the middle. The other thing that we're gonna note is just on the bottom, there are little rectangular chips. Those rectangular chips are actually uh, DRAM or LRDIM buffers. So we think that these are gonna actually operate more like an LRDIM in the memory subsystem. You can see the Optane 3D crosspoint packages, and overall, you know, it's the same dimensions as a DDR4 memory module. It's clearly using more power. This thermal paste is probably the strongest we've ever seen. You can see the DRAM modules don't even have any heat spreader. They don't have thermal paste on it, but this is fairly substantial thermal paste that was affixed to the module itself. We want to note that you don't want to take these things apart. Uh, we haven't gotten this module to work again since we took it apart. So it's probably not a good idea to try that with your own modules. Also, you know, trying it with Skylake, it's not gonna work. We tried it with Epic, doesn't work. So you're probably gonna need Cascade Lake or you need an Intel Skylake development system with it. Here's kind of a look of the front and back of these DIMMs. You can see there's a controller on one side. You can see the LR DIMM buffers. You can also see an SK Hynix DRAM module, which is interesting because we've never seen that before. As we head into 2019, these are gonna be the hottest commodities around. And so we just kinda of wanted to take one apart and see what's underneath. We hope you enjoyed this video because an Intel Optane Persistent Memory DIMM has died in the process. Thanks for watching. Check out the main site, check out more from STH on YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel.